Why are all these black college athletes that are getting drafted having white women? What's going on? I am going to tell you, as someone that is friends with a lot of D1 football players and D1 basketball players, I'm going to tell you because they have told me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I get into this, I want to make it clear I'm only into black women. I'm just telling you what they have told me. My man said, bro, how many white women have you seen do the Megan Stallion Challenge? And he said, excluding the ones that think they're two shades away from being Lotto. I said, probably only one. He said, okay. Y'all, five of my guys that play on Division I Power 5 football teams and they start, they were like, goody, you know the type of NIL deals we got. One of my men said, bro, I was messing with this black girl. She heard about the deal I got and started to request money. Yep. Apple Pays and Cash Apps. We interrupt this program to prescribe you with a thousand milligrams of red vitamins. Right here, right here, right now, right now. It's the right time, right time, right time. It's the right time, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. Tell the whole pie down, 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 pie down. What's good, Shadow Realm? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and you already know. Reclaim Your Throne. All right, guys. So this picture is going viral because it was a picture that was taken on christmas well basically close to christmas eve and it was in 2023 of the philadelphia eagles wives girlfriends you know um and, and they came together and did i guess a wives girlfriend type party well as you guys can see, <laughs> most of the wives, most of the girlfriends are white women, Caucasian women. And the majority of the players, the athletes are African-American. Now, this is very triggering for a few dem demographics. <clears throat> so this is triggering for black women, obviously. We've spoken on this channel before. This is also triggering for white men, okay? because you're getting a whole bunch of different comments uh you know in in the comments section people are saying oh it's gross mud shark convention da, 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 whatever so we understand that most of the vitriol most of the anger most of the hatred uh for interracial relationships when it comes down to black men and white women it is coming from white men most likely younger white men and uh black women so I, I just wanted to point that out i'm not gonna read through the comments and all that kind of stuff because they get pretty crazy but i just want to acknowledge that it's not just black women who are upset that black men are starting to date ir becoming passport bros and the likes why are all these black college athletes that are getting drafted having white women what's going on i am going to tell you as someone that is friends with a lot of d1 football players and d1 basketball players i'm going to tell you because they have told me whoa whoa whoa, whoa. before i get into this i want to make it clear i'm only into black women i'm just telling you what they have told me my man said bro how many white women have you seen do the Megan Stallion challenge and he said excluding the ones that think they're two shades away from being lotto i said probably only one he said okay y'all five of my guys that play on division one power five football teams and they start they were like goody you know the type of NIL deals we got. One of my men said, bro, I was messing with this black girl. She heard about the deal I got and started to request money. Yep. Apple Pays and Cash Apps for her hair and nails. I said, oh shit. My other friends were saying, bro, I would try to take her out to Chipotle, Cava, this and this and that. She would get mad talking about why are we going to steakhouses? You're good for it. Yep. I said, oh shit. They were like, bro, the white women? They're down to go and get a cup of coffee, go go and get some fucking ice cream. My Absolutely. friends were like, bro, the white women we're dating, they pay for a lot of our stuff. I said, what do you mean? They said, bro, they know that we're making some money, but while we're at practice or we're at camp, they got us our favorite cava bowl, double chicken, right? Waiting for them to come out of practice. Yeah. My friends were telling me these girls are getting their group projects done, getting their essays done, online tests done, on time. I said, wait, what? I said, bro, what about maintenance? There's no way y'all are not paying for her hair, nails, bags, her lifestyle. He said, bro. First of all, my girl will get her own Starbucks and even get me one. But if I want to be nice, I'll get her something, you know, from Starbucks. And they were like hair and nails. They don't even care about the nails, really. 
you know, and if they do it, they do it themselves. Sometimes I, you know, I pitch in and I was like, all right, what about hair? They're like, bro, she's white. She just brushes it. Yep. Or flat irons it. She wants to be special. Yep. So Jesus Christ, you guys are saving a lot of money. <laughs> One of my men said this. He just got drafted. He said, bro, I was dating a black girl. Now I'm dating a white girl. And I'm about to marry her. He said, the difference between the black girl and the white girl, the biggest difference is the white girl knows when to shut the fuck up. I said, God damn. Listen, this is what they told me. Do with the information as you please. If it takes me 10 to 15 years to find a black woman that's compatible with me, that's what I'm going to do. But this is what they told me. So stop being surprised. Wow. Wow. <coughs> God damn. The video almost got me choking on my thoughts. Pause because he's absolutely right. I mean, everything that he said. Let's keep it a buck. For one, black women are predominantly interested in the thug max alpha sims. Even if they're college educated, even if they're, you know, got two, three degrees, they might be a PhD, master's degree, whatever. They are still more interested in the than the Thug Max Alpha Simp than an athlete because to them, an athlete who is not involved in street activity is a lame, okay? Black culture has created a toxic culture where if you're not a hood dude, if the status ain't hood, I ain't checking for him, better be screwed if you're looking at me, I need a soldier, okay? So... That song, I'm not saying that's the cause or that's the full reason, <clears throat> but that is basically a description of the mindset of black women. And they'll even tell you this, like, yes, they're gonna lie on this channel and they're gonna get in the comment section and say, not me, I don't want no Thug Max Alpha Simp. But then in their past, they've dated a Thug Max Alpha Simp, so they're lying. <clears throat> the reality is that if you ain't, you know what I'm saying, if you ain't really rocking the goddamn, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The thug match off a simp swag. Hey, hey, nigga. Hey, fuck you talking about, bro. If you ain't really rocking that thug match off a simp shit, hey, bro, you finna go under, nigga. Hey, these hoes ain't gonna fuck with you. Nah, bro, these hoes ain't gonna fuck with you. Oh, you fucking with that athlete, nigga? Oh, lame ass nigga. Hey, this nigga got a pistol? Nah, he can't bring no pistol on campus. Oh, lame ass fuck, nigga. <laughs> Sucker duck ass nigga, you feel me? Hey, get with a real nigga who got them sacks, who got them packs, who's scamming, who got them, you know what I'm saying, in the street, finding a different way, you feel me? I'm a I'm a hood entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying? I'm a street pharmacist, you did. So like hey, anything that come through me, hey, this shit, this shit, you know what I'm saying? This shit, it, it, it's tainted, but it's still legit. You know what I'm saying? The money spin the same way. Hey, 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 I don't see them D1 nigga got them in a strip club throwing bands, though. Hey, I don't see nigga wasting their money on some stupid ass designer shit, though. Hey, hey, yeah, that, that's where the thug mats of a simp come in. Yeah, hey, bitch, yeah, I'll get, I'll get your nails and hair done and shit like that. Hey, but you bet, hey, 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 you better act right before I beat the shit out your dumb ass little ugly ass bitch. Fuck you talking about. So, guys. I'm telling you, if you don't speak like that, it's over for you if you're trying to um, date sisters, period, point blank. I, I, I'm i not like afraid to say this. I, I, I'm not scared to say this anymore. It's just the reality. If you are not a thug, max, alpha, simp, you are not going to get an attractive black woman in 2024, period, period, okay? And everything that he's saying is true. <clears throat> When you take a sister out versus when you take a white woman out, the white girls really don't care where you take them, honestly. As long as you, you know, are attentive, um, you're kind, that's pretty much it, really. I, especially when it comes to athletes, because to them, it is an investment, right? To black women, it's a, what can I get from this man? How much can I take? How much can I siphon from this man so there's a difference in mindset as well um entitlement right the the white women are not as entitled so yes chipotle works for them yes starbucks works for them yes Cabo bowls work for them yes uh schlotzky's i can take her you know what i'm saying <clears throat> i can take her to a deli and she'll be fine with that as long as we have a good time sitting down together and, and you're kind and respectful that's pretty much what it is also the white women are, they're more loyal. I mean, I know people are going to hate that I'm saying this and I'm not saying that, you know, all women are loyal and, and it's not it, it, every woman, woman cheats, right? <clears throat> not every single one, but all races of women cheat. But when it comes to black male, white, female relationships, they are more loyal. I 
see that they tend to be less loyal when they are with a white guy versus when they're with a black guy i don't know why that's just my personal observation i don't have any data to back it up so don't be a man that ain't true but this is just from my personal observation i was a d1 athlete at the highest level um at a university that has won multiple national championships within the past uh, let's say three four years okay so you can do your deductive reasoning and figure out where i attended um or the esteemed university that i attended right so <clears throat> Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, it's pretty much exactly what this brother said. Okay, hair, nails, all this kind of stuff. They handle that themselves. They're not getting weaves. They're not wearing wigs. I know black women love to say white women wear weaves too. White women, no, the fuck they don't. Okay, not in mass like black women. They might wear it for an event. They might wear it for Halloween, but they are not wearing it every single day. Period. So anybody who's coming in talking about the white women, women wear weaves and extensions and them, bruh, they're not wearing that shit every day. They do it, you know, every once in a blue, me, m blue moon to get more volume in their hair or whatnot. But it's not a regular, regular everyday thing. And it's also not a necessity, right? Because they just wake up, wash their hair, brush their hair, and they're good to go. So all of these factors play in. Um, but the attitudes that these women are giving these black athletes, especially with NIL deals, you heard it. I heard she heard he got the NIL deal, a million, two million, whatever. Well, why ain't we going to a steakhouse? You got it. Counting pockets. White women don't do that. OK, if they do, they do it secretly. They're not going to go to the man and say, you got it. Ain't you making two point five million dollars a year off the NIL? They're not going to they're not going to do that. OK, they might look it up on their own time and, and be like, oh, wow, this guy is really high value. Maybe I should act right with this guy. That's how they approach it. Whereas black women, they say, oh, he's making two point five million dollars. He need to spend like half of that on me. <clears throat> and they're demanding it in the man's face. And guess what he going to do? He going to smash, of course. And then he's going to move on and date and marry a white woman because they are not. I mean, I, I, this is not the narrative, popular narrative, but I'm going to say I'm going to say it. They're not as much as gold diggers as, you know, the, the black women try and portray it, right? All women are gold diggers. Some are just better at hiding the shovel. We all understand that, right? That's a red vitamin tenement. But <clears throat> they, they don't make you feel like they're gold digging. I, at least they don't, they don't come in and make, make you feel like that's all they're in it for. Also, they will hold you down from high school. They will see the potential in high school, whereas black women, they don't understand how to see potential. They don't they I, I don't think they think for the future um, and they're not really focused on what a man is going to become. They're focused on what he is right now. And if he's not a thug max alpha simp hood ninja with the hood swag and, you know, a, a trapper and a businessman all in one then you're probably not going to do well with the attractive attractive black women now there are going to be people who come in my comment section so oh, well uh, i i don't date the thug mass alpha simps well you're probably 200 pounds period facts or like 40 years old right i'm not really addressing women who are over 30 years old because i'm not over 30 years old so i'm not going to be out here talking about some <clears throat> you know well, the 35 year old woman, they this and that. I'm not, I'm not focused on them. I, I would never date a woman who's that much older than me. I mean, I'll hit obviously, but I'm not going to date and take seriously. So we're talking about the age group between 18 and let's say 29, 28 years old. And in this demographic, if you're looking for an attractive sister, which by the numbers alone, only 25% of them are going to be in shape. And that's the only way that you can be attractive. Let's be real about this, okay? If you're not in shape, you're not attractive, period. Especially to an athlete. Let me repeat. Even the linemen, even the 300-pound offensive linemen, if you are not in shape, you are not attractive. You are ugly. At least a, a part of you is ugly. Your body's ugly. How about that? You might have a pretty face. Well, Lizzo's not ugly. She got a cute face. For one, Lizzo does not have a cute face. And for two, <clears throat> she is ugly. She's fat. Her body is fat. That means she's ugly. So, guys, what you have to understand is 
when I'm addressing women, especially black women as a whole, I'm not talking about obese women. And we all know that 75% of the women in the community are obese. So I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about the 25% who have potential. And within that 25%, most of them, especially the hot ones, the most attractive black women want to date Thug Max Alpha Sims. Even if they say that, you know, oh, I want an athlete, da 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 They don't know how to deal with these men because, like he said, they don't know when to shut up. They don't know when to pull back. They don't know when to stop being annoying. They don't know when to stop being disrespectful. They don't know when to turn off the loud, angry, strong, independent, you know, non-submissive, masculine demeanor. They don't know when to turn that off. So, um, hopefully these women can start seeing videos like this and learn because I generally want to see more sisters get involved with brothers who are doing big things, but it's so difficult and it's such a risk for a black man to date a sister in this day and age, especially with what we know now. And uh, I mean, even with the body counts, he was talking about the sexy red challenge. Get it sexy. Y'all know that thing on TikTok. Black women are doing the challenge. White women are not. Okay. It's a class difference. Um, it's a, it's a decorum difference. It is a demeanor difference. And I'm not saying one is better than the other as far as a human, um, a human value, life value, value of life, right? I'm not saying one is better than the other, but one is better to date. And there's nothing wrong with saying that. So um, everything that this brother hit on was spot on. I really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed breaking it down to you guys. And I just really want you guys to understand if you come across an attractive sister and you are not thug maxed, tell me your results. That's all. Tell me your results. Show me your results. A lot of black men in the comment section, a lot of the hoteps will get in the comment section and say, well, I got me a fine black woman. That's cap. That's cap. Your wife is 200 pounds, bro. That's cap. That's cap. Okay. So. Anyways, you already know what it is. It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. See you in relationship with Quest to the email down below with a screenshot of your cash app. So I know you're paying your ties, man. Y'all already been in my freaking game with the BS. You already know. Reclaim Your Throne. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.